So today, let's talk about some items that I can't go without. So my first item is gonna be <clears throat> my fly rod. This one specifically is an eight weight professional series two Temple Fork Outfitters fly rod. I've been using this ever since I started fly fishing, which was five, six years ago. I absolutely love this rod. I've caught everything from tarpon to panfish on this rod. It's been a great little rod. So yeah, this is kind of what I learned to fly fish on. And <clears throat> the one tip I would have for any beginner fly fisherman out there is right off the bat, you're gonna wanna invest more into the rod and your line than the reel or anything else you really have. And yeah, that's gonna be our first item. Next item we have is my Reddington Rise 8 weight reel. It's a nice little reel. Again, I've been using this for probably two, three years. It's a great little reel to have. And yeah, it's it's done a lot. It's caught, again, it's caught me everything from panfish to nice little size tarpon. And yeah, it's been with me for a while. You can see it's got little scratch marks. Just really cool. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be my second little item right there. Wouldn't go out on the water without this guy. And my third item is gonna be this little pain in the butt right here. This is a GoPro 7, 7 Series Black, Black Edition. It does what it does. It gets me the good POV shots, which I know you guys like. It's such a pain in the butt to use it, but at the end of the day, you have to love it. You have to love the, the footage that it gets, the audio that it gets, and the price it is. You can't really beat it. It's, it's done me a lot of good in the past, I think, year that I've been using it. So it's a, it's a really good little camera. It is a pain in the butt sometimes, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> for number four, it's gonna be simple little uh, sling pack here. This is, ooh, there we go. Are you guys crapping it? <laughs> this one specifically is a Patagonia Adam A8L. It's a really good little pack to have if you are somebody that doesn't really like to pack a lot of stuff, doesn't really like to be weighed down by a lot of fishing gear, you like to go wading or anything like that. It's a really good little pack to have. You have, little, you have this little guy right here, which is really nice, this little compartment. And then on inside here, another little compartment with more stuff in there. You have this little thing, which you can put tools in here to make your life a little easier. You can strap like a little water bottle in here. Again, I don't think this was that expensive. Probably, I would maybe say 40 bucks. I've had this for three years and I use it quite a bit and it hasn't really scuffed up or anything. So I would definitely go recommend you getting one of these. It makes the days on the water a lot nicer. Your back, your shoulders aren't gonna be as roughed up. And yeah, it'll save you some, save you some stress. For the fifth item, I'm gonna be throwing some Rio 16 pound tippet. I've been using this a lot lately. For what I do personally, this works really great. You guys will probably learn real quick, like tippet and line are really important. And finding which tippet and line are perfect for you is kind of challenging. Like I said, for what I do, I like this 16 pound Rio test uh, tippet. It's really good. I like fishing for bass, so obviously. <laughs> But yeah, it, take, it probably took me a good year to kind of figure out which tippet I like throwing a lot. And this one's just been, for the past year or so, has been the one I go to a lot. I've fished very multi-species, so this guy right here does me a lot of good. Probably one of the most important things you could ever carry with you as a fly fisherman are these guys right here, hemostats. These guys are really important. If a fish chokes it, it's a hell of a lot easier trying to use these to get them out than it is trying to use your hands or a stick you find on a tree. These guys run you maybe like nine to like 15 bucks if you're fancy. These were fancy, they had like the gold plating on them and as you can maybe tell, they have obviously <laughs> gone down. Not gold anymore, I mm, wonder if that's marketing, but yeah. <laughs> These guys are really, really handy. They've got me out of a lot of the trouble. You're not gonna kill any fish if you have these on you, and you should go get them. Along with 
with the last item, another tool that I use quite a bit are actually these guys that I got in my post fly box, which was like a good month ago, these little line shears. So I used to use, uh, as a lot of you guys probably use uh, nail clippers a lot, they run you like 50 cents. They're nice, but I would definitely recommend investing in a nice pair of like just line cutters like these. These guys are really heavy duty. They're really easy to hold everything. They have nice little ergot. Erg ergonomic grips good god <laughs> and yeah they're really nice they're really heavy duty and i'll probably be using these guys for a lot longer than i would nail the clippers which tend to break every now and then you gotta go buy a pair it's a pain in the butt but yeah these guys are really nice next item is going to be my free fly bamboo hoodie it's really nice i like the style of it it's really cool it has little finger grips on these guys so you don't have to burn your hand when you're out in the water if I can find it, it has a little pocket that you can fit like little dry flies or whatnot in there. Really nice. And obviously you have a hood, slips right over your hat if you wear one. Really comfortable. It'll definitely save you from getting sunburned out there. It's really nice. It's saved me from really hot days. And if this gets wet, that's another cool thing. If this gets wet, it dries off within minutes. It's crazy. And yeah, I don't think I, I think I've probably uploaded videos of me in this more than any other thing I've ever worn. And you guys probably think I don't wash it, but I do. It's, you know. Another article of clothing. Definitely gonna be my fly fishing hat. I absolutely love this thing. It's beat up. It's, I've just had this thing for years and years and years. Obviously it's beat up and whatnot. But yeah, I love it. I'm a big, big stereotype, or big uh, superstitious person, I should say, not stereotype. <laughs> So it, this is definitely my lucky hat. I'm never gonna throw this guy away. And yeah, it's just really nice. I don't know, I feel like every fisherman has their lucky little item and this is, this, this one right here is definitely mine. It has Mickey on it, I don't, it, it, it is what it is, I don't care. It's Disney, woohoo. But yeah, this is a really lucky little hat. I wear this guy probably nine out of, time, nine out of 10 times I go fishing and yeah, you probably see it in a lot of my videos and I absolutely love this little guy. So for the last item, it's actually going to be my fly fishing journal, which I've been working on this for the past, I'd say four years. I started it kind of late, but it's literally just everything that I've ever learned about fly fishing or any questions I've ever had. I just literally think about them, go on Google, type it in, boom, pops up right in here. There's a bunch of stuff I have in here. Like let's find, like I have some examples of knots, like some fly knots right there camera wants to focus like fly knots how to fish flats the difference between like a mayfly and a caddis different hooks how to fish for bonefish just everything is in this little guy right here this is really cool but other than that that's going to be it for my list of items that i take fishing or that are important fly fishing to wise to me i hope you guys enjoyed the video i definitely enjoyed making it so yeah i hope you guys like it subscribe comment you have a good one